Ranjana Bai Gaur is returning to her home by boat to find out if there is anything left of it. There is not much to see except water. Her home is in one of the 192 villages in the catchment area of Sardar Sarovar Dam, which was built across the Narmada River. This year, heavy rains almost filled the reservoir and its backwaters flooded many villages in the central Indian state of Madhya Pradesh. Our life savings was spent in building this house. Now, how do we get the money to rebuild it? Activists say at least 30,000 families have not been compensated in full and they have nowhere else to go. Dams were described as temples of modern India by the country's first prime minister. But have they delivered on the promise of development? Not for those whose homes have been submerged. And environmentalists say the damage they cause and the costs outweigh any benefits. Sardar Sarovar Dam, seen as symbolic of much of what is wrong with large dams in India. There are almost 6,000 of them and they have a lasting social and environmental impact. In every village here, there are not less than 2,000 big trees. And if the trees get submerged with the biomass, the greenhouse gas emissions come up. Analysts say other countries in the world are rethinking the value of dams and conserving their rivers. But India is going in the opposite direction. If you look at last four decades since 1980, 90% of the additional irrigation that has come, uh, you know, people, farmers have benefited from, has come from water has come from groundwater. So all this shows that the dams are not delivering on the promise. But the Indian government sees Sardar Sarovar Dam as an economic success story, expected to ease water problems and supply electricity to four Indian states. Villagers say that's come at a cost. The whole village has been destroyed. There is water as far as you can see. Families have lived on the banks of the Narmada for generations. They worship the river, but now the waters have been harnessed for the dam. They've lost their homes and their way of life. Anshul Vora, Al Jazeera, Madhya Pradesh, India.